Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. Today is December Daily Day 12 and the December Hobonichi Challenge prompt is a reindeer. So I took this old painting of Rudolph that I did for last year's uh, 12 days of Christmas lettering and I digitized him. I actually have a photo of this uh, painting. I don't know where it is anymore. It's probably in the recycling bin somewhere in Korea, but I decided to digitize him and that's basically just the process of taking the background away from that painting to make it less distracting so when you print it out it looks a lot nicer and at least I have that digitized now if I want to work with it in the future so if you have any artwork or if you have any doodles or anything I say just take a photo of it and scan it so you can use it in future spreads when you don't feel like painting or drawing because today I just don't feel like journaling at all and this is me I think I was trying to ask Siri a question but that's besides the point so today um, I wanted to use that reindeer that I painted last year for today's spread isn't that cool uh, so this took the longest part of the spread so um, I thought about it and maybe I should have just painted Rudolph because fussy cutting this guy out took forever. I was so distracted. I, I kept wanting to give up and just gluing the whole sheet onto the spread, but I just turned the camera off because it was just taking too long. But yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to say that the date is on a, um, what is this called? A library card. So this is a library card that I got at the Regional Assembly of Text, which is one of the stores that I showcased in one of the vlogs that I uploaded on the channel. And I stamped DEC for December with my Kelly Perky stamp set. And I actually cut out this piece of paper. I think it used to be an envelope, that brown paper, and I cut it into a strip and I really wanted to overlay that strip of brown floral paper around Rudolph's antlers. I really like that look. A lot of uh, collage artists do it. Um, I think the first person that I got the idea from was Other Sasha's on Instagram. I love her work. Or Other Sasha. I don't think there's an S. <laughs> and um, A Cup and Pages, Miggy does it a lot too. And I try to do it, but there, are, there aren't many times when I collage or fussy cut a lot of things. I usually just do it with flowers. So I wrapped that little paper around little Rudolph. Little Rudolph. Rudolph's pretty big. Anyways, um, I wrapped it around his antlers. And then that typewritten little piece of paper just says December Daily, Day 12. And I actually typed that when I was at the letter writing club at the Regional Assembly of Text. So there's a lot of Regional Assembly of Text products in this journal spread actually that was a free a freebie because at the letter writing club you can use their paper and their typewriters and i basically use this um morris and co washi tape it's a super thick washi tape it's the one that i used to bind the book of this junk journal and i only wanted a thin sheet of it so i took all the excess pieces and i basically added them um all throughout the spread because i hate wa um, wasting washi tape or supplies in general that's why i have a huge Actually, it's not that big. I have that folder of scrap papers because I feel like you can use um, these things over and over again. And I forgot to mention that I actually cut that vellum sheet um, on a bias or a, yeah, I think bias means diagonal, but that's also a sewing term. So that doesn't apply here. But anyways, um, yeah, I just cut it and I really didn't know what to do with that, to be honest. So um, I thought I would do an art piece on it, but I just didn't feel like doodling or anything at all. So I thought I would kind of adhere it onto the spread. Not fully though, but I used a wax seal to keep part of it down because I didn't want it to cover Mr. Rudolph. And I added a vintage Canadian stamp on the left hand side of that journaling card or that library card. Well, it's kind of like a journaling card now. And then I added some green washi near the edges of both sides of the spread and we are done i forgot to say that i actually scripted out the 12th with my sumi brush pen yeah no it's a pentel aquash brush pen filled with sumi, sumi ink sorry uh yeah today's spread was super simple but i don't know i just said that day nine or i think was it day nine yeah i thought that was my favorite spread but this is probably my favorite spread i like how simple it is and i like that tip in that vellum tip in that doesn't really serve a purpose but i just like how it looks but i guess we can't really explain those things um 
yeah that's about it folks i'll see you all next time um forgetting my outro again oh my gosh okay never mind okay bye